You guys want to go down there? <laughs> Looks pretty cool. I think I could crawl down there. Uh, Let me use both hands. Let me put the camera down. All right, guys, that was a lot harder than it looked. <laughs> I don't know. That was very difficult for me. Wow. This is like an entrance to like a waterfall, I guess. You wouldn't want to fall down there, you'd probably die. Look at that. You fall right there, you're gonna fall to your death. I want to know how people got up there to graffiti that. They jumped or what? I don't know. <laughs> That's just crazy. <laughs> Look at my foot, guys. I mean, one, one missed footstep and you're a goner. Let's get back to the road. That's a spillway right there. See the water comes down right there and shoots down from overflow of water. We'll go up there and take a look at that as well. <clears throat> Guys, I'm not expecting to find any cars today. That's how you gotta look at your journeys. If you could just find cars, it's a huge plus, you know? All right, does anybody know what this means right here? What does this mean? It's off the highway, I've seen it, so I thought I'd stop and pull over and look at it. I'm guessing it's something due from an aerial view. Something you could view from the sky, I don't know.
So this is the entrance to the off-road park. You have to pay to get in. And I believe it's monitored by the sheriffs. This is all the trailers and trucks that park out here while they're... Here's a guy pulling his truck out right here. The Chevy Blazer. Let's keep rolling. We're going towards Crystal Lake. It's supposedly about 14 miles away. All right, guys, I don't know if it's just a coincidence, but I've seen a fresh cross on the side of the road. I was like, let me just pull over right here. I'm not sure if this has something to do with it. Look at this. But I know I could get down there and crawl down there. It's not that steep. It's steep, but uh, I could do this with a stick, no ropes. And it appears the higher patrols already marked it as looked over. Anytime you see an X on a roof, it means it's already been checked by the uh, highway patrol. Here come some more bikes. This looks like a real modern crash. Look at all the glass right there. On those rocks, see the glass. So let me gear up and let's go down there to take a look. All right, guys, check this out. This is crazy. There's a candle there. So this might be someone's car who passed away. This is kind of sad. I've never seen such a uh, memorial set up on a crash site before. So uh, let's uh, approach this car with caution. There might be stuff in here we can't show on YouTube. I always get confused if you guys could help me out on YouTube. Is this poison oak? Look at that. So I don't know if I should be walking through that. I didn't walk through any yet, but I was just about to crawl through here to get to this car. So maybe I should find a different way. Because I don't think I want to be rubbing on that stuff. Yeah, it's, it's all through here also. If you crawl through here, it's all poison oak. So uh, you got to use extreme caution. Look at this. And if I just walked 50 more feet down the road, there's an easy and simple trail that walks straight to the car. I like to poke my stick in front of me like this, especially if I don't have my snake gaiters on. Because I don't want to... Uh, come across a rattlesnake that's half asleep or something and, and uh, it wakes me up. I find this a lot in the mountains when I'm crawling around. People will crawl down here and use the restroom. So yeah, if I poke my stick in front of me, it'll alert the rattlesnake and it'll start rattling. That's my biggest fear of doing this, looking for cars, is finding <clears throat> a rattlesnake. I don't know guys i think this car i don't think somebody died in this car even though there's a memorial up there i'll show you when i go back up top but uh there's a huge stain on the concrete like there was another accident up there so it could be possibly that this car just doesn't seem to have enough damage for someone to pass away in here and uh you know there's no blood i don't see there's no big damage to this car so I'm guessing the accident happened up top, not down here. I could be wrong though, you just never know. A lot of times these people steal the engines, that's the first thing they take. Oh, well, they took the heads off, look. Wow. That's crazy. A little four cylinder Honda Accord. Look at that, it's got an aluminum radiator in it. Yeah, I don't think someone died in here. You just never know. Man, look at that tunnel right there. That's crazy. It goes all the way through. There's probably a rattlesnake in there or something. <clears throat> I don't know. Somebody could have passed away here. I just don't know. I don't see any other cars around, but I'll tell you what I do see. There's a rubber glove on the ground, so 
either the mechanics or the thieves that stole the engine could have had these on. See that rubber glove? Or uh, the EMT and the paramedics. This thing has cross-drilled uh, rotors on it. Look at that. This is a modern, very, very modern accident because, you know, once people find out about these cars that are stripped. So I'm going to talk to you guys about another thing. What the heck? There's handcuffs in there. Look at that. What in the heck? This might be a crime scene, guys. I don't know. Maybe they found a body in here. Who knows? But why is there handcuffs in a car? It's so strange. Are those plastic or metal? Let me see. Yeah, those are metal. Those are like full-blown police ones. Look at that. It has a double double chain on them. That is bizarre. What's in this trunk area? Let's see. Like I said, I don't want to touch anything, guys. So, looks like oil. Looks like motor oil back there in that trunk. I don't know. I'm not sure I want to know either. I don't even know if I should be touching this stuff. But, like I said, the police have already marked it as clear, which means they check it for bodies, you know. All right, guys, if I miss anything, let's continue on this adventure. Let's continue on. We have a lot of ground to cover. Hey, guys, and the only reason I pulled over is I seen a cross, so... Uh, I got a little hideout up there. That's weird. That's crazy. These mountains out here have a lot of stories. Here's the bend where this person went over. Check it out. So it's like an S. Oh, you know what? Look, here's the marks on the ground right here. Look at that. Look at the skin marks. Look at the skid marks, look. There's a mark there and a mark there. And you can actually see where the car went over right here. So maybe this is where someone passed away. But let me show you what I was talking about earlier. I need to get a wind buffer for my phone so there's not so much wind blowing. I have one in the car, but the cord's like five feet long. It's kind of a pain, but uh, see this big mark on the concrete right there? There was an accident also there, so. I was thinking that's why the cross was there. to pull over to take a video of this blossom on this cactus is that just crazy or what look at the size of this cactus wow unbelievable that's the biggest one i've seen all day Beautiful.
All right, y'all, let's keep rolling. Haven't found no more cars. That last car we found, I'm kind of up in the air about it. That means maybe someone passed away, maybe not. There's not a lot of damage, but hey, you know what? Maybe the person didn't have their seatbelt on. Maybe they were ejected from the vehicle. You just don't know. All right, guys, I don't think I could have picked a more beautiful day to be out here. It's just amazing. It's sunny. There's no humidity. It's just beautiful up here. I'm just off the side of the road watching all these cars and motorcycles drive by right now. So uh, just taking a small break. I'm looking up off, off all these cliffs, though. Let me, let me show you where I'm parked. This is like a massive uh, hairpin turn down here. But I've looked and I don't see any cars whatsoever. It wraps all through here and does a spin right here. It shoots out right here, but uh, there's nothing down there. I've looked and looked and looked. There could have been at one time, they probably might have pulled it out. You just never know. They only pull out certain cars, which I'm not really sure uh, which cars they choose to pull out and which ones they leave, you know? You just never know. Let's continue on this journey. This is where we stand so far, if anybody's familiar with mile markers. I actually don't even know how to read those. I've never really learned. I don't know much about them. But if anybody out there knows about mile markers, let me know. 39 LA 3380. We are in LA County, so I'm guessing the LA is Los Angeles. The 39, the 33, and the 80, I have no idea. If anybody out there knows, let me know. so this is the end of the road um i believe if you traveled on this road for five more miles you end at highway two i could be wrong though but from what i've read i believe this mile goes for five miles roughly and then ends on the highway two if i'm correct um this is a huge turnout area so i'll turn around and look off this cliff edge and see if we see anything stay with me
Not sure if you're supposed to be shooting right here, but uh, there's a lot of bullet shells laying around. It's a beautiful view from here. Let's go home the back way and see what we can cover. Maybe we'll find at least one more car. I see car parts, but no cars. I see like a headlight bezel down there to something, but I just don't see any cars. I left my truck up there unlocked. I better go back and lock it or just continue on and we'll find something else to look for. All right, guys, I changed my mind. I am going to put the drone in the air. The only reason is I'm going to look at that crash site over there and then uh, I'm going to send the drone over there to see how crazy these roads are. When I say hairpin turn, I mean... Uh, it's pretty intense. Look at this fresh guardrail, it's brand new and someone's already pounded this thing. Like there's oil all over the ground. This area is known for, let me get the glass. This area is known for people to come up here and just fly. Um, a lot of race cars, motorcycles. It's a thing to do on the weekend, you know, so. Uh, <clears throat> Another thing I was thinking, uh, if you crash out here, guys, there's no cell phone service. My phone says SOS for the last hour. So you're screwed. I mean, even if you come up upon someone who's driving up here and they have a phone, I have Verizon. I mean, no one else is going to have service. My Verizon phone doesn't have service. Ain't no one going to have service. So it's just mind blowing. If you crash up here, you're done. It's over. Even if you crawl to the road, there's still no cell phone service for someone to help you. So you'd have to drive to an area where there's service, which is probably a half an hour to 45 minutes away. Let's keep rolling. You guys are looking for a killer pair of boots man these danner boots are pretty good their bottom is like pretty rugged and then you almost feel like you're just wearing shoes almost they're extremely comfortable but uh yeah if you're looking for a good uh, if you're looking for a good hiking boot this is it right here they're called danner timbers 
They make them like this. They have some blue and brown ones. And they also make like full blown uh, hiking boots. So if you're looking for a good, comfortable boot, it's right there. I think the range is right around $200. Let's continue on this journey. I'm just taking some rocks out of my shoes because I kind of fell off this rock earlier. Stay tuned. All right, folks, so I'm coming across this little memorial for this guy. His name was, uh, I guess, Mango Mike, 11-4-1982 to 6-25-22. And uh, this, is, this is his little memorial that they have set up for him. I'm guessing he passed away on a street bike because look at this picture here. Wow. As you guys seen since I've been filming all day, this is an extremely dangerous highway with turns and twists. It's, it's uh, not to be messed with. So as you can see, someone's passed away right here. So uh, rest in peace to this guy, you know, Mango Mike. 